Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Minibates. I am your friend Amun Sakthivel. Even though we have covered a, right, how to write API test using Playwright, uh, we will see how we can put that in, in the proper framework structure. So this is going to be a very simple video because we already learned about how to do AP testing with Playwright. Uh, we're just going to play, put it in the right place. That's it. So yeah, so let's go to the um, framework and we can see we have test folder and it says that we have add employee. So it makes much sense to separate these two. Um, so I create a uh, UI folder and drag everything inside it. Now I could also create one more directory called as API and uh, just simply we can create a file called as let's say regress.spec.ts and then we could basically import the test comma expect from playwright and simply start writing our tests as simple as that so so get whatever so this is really helpful for me um and uh, so what you can do is i don't want to make a call to this um cons so we don't need the page fixture we need the request fixture to make the api calls again guys if you haven't watched my previous videos please do watch that when i covered what is request page fixture and everything um so i'm going to make a call to um https dot request or dot in right i'm hopeful that this is the right one right so yeah and now i want to expect the status to be this and i want to get the body of it and I want to assert whether the body dot data dot ID. This is a JSON path. The ID field there in the response is equal to this. Again, you're gonna add more assertion, uh, but then I want to keep it very simple. So let's try to run just this test. Um, yeah, yeah, everything worked, and uh, we could also run clear right. I'll show hyper report. And then this basically gives us all the report, right? So yeah, everything looks good. And this is how we want to place it here. So we have a folder called as test. It says that you can have API, UI, and you can separate them out. Again, if you want to run just this test, you could use tags and other stuff. We could see that uh, in the coming classes, but uh, this is all about it. We'll see in another great video.